Hey guys, it's me, John Vietnamia, and I'm back with, I guess, part 5 of episode 2. Last time we started here, uh, it's, it's our office, Faye and Co. offices, to investigate. Alright, uh, uh, if I remember, we want to investigate about the DL6 incident. Yeah, let's get on with it. Hard to imagine the murder took place here. Is the grass, but except there would be clues. Maybe I should have... Another, maybe I should have another look. Yeah. Set fires, right? Maybe this one? Me and Swim? Oh, that's the plan. I guess I'll have to water it now. But it's painting, yeah. An old movie poster. Apparently, this was the first movie that made me a cry when she saw it. I'll have to check it out one of these days. The sky is blue, and so am I. That's the hotel, right across the way. Alright. Let's examine these. All the cases that she ever worked on are filed here. They're in alphabetical order. Let's take a look. Which file should I look at? But DL6, I'm guessing D, right? Maybe Agent, yeah. Check this. Let's see if there's a record in this file that catches mine. I. A, B, F, Misty Fit. That's me as in my, me and my mother. Hmm, should I take a look? Read it, man. I have changed the free name, leaving only these words, my mother fight, my ma my mother vanished. I was determined to find the ones who had made my mother blame herself in this world. Oh, so it seems maybe this was the reason why Mia Wanted to become an, a, a defense attorney. Okay, using the ESP that runs in my family, I held an audience with the with the dead. Finally, the names of two men surfaced. One was Marvin Grossberg, a lawyer who sold my mother's information for riches. The other was the man who sold that information to the press. This parasite who makes this his fortune on threats and coercion. His name is. Hmm. The record stops there. I bet it's Mr. Red White, yeah? Of Blue Coat, Red White Blue. So me and you prosper. Alright, what about the other files? This one. Something here? J through S, nothing much in here. Maybe I know just skim some of this. Skim, yeah, just skim some of this. Well, no harm in flipping through a bit, I guess. The biggest part here at the end, yes, is suicide. Yeah, she has a collection of suicide reports. There's politicians, policemen. There's writing on most of these in pencil. What? This is Mia's handwriting. Why? Mr. White, okay. Wait, I get it. Mia thought he was involved in these suicides. Well, I drove them all to. I can use these newspaper clippings. Hmm, let's find the most deserving one. Why nice? Okay, okay. So we found something all right now. And the final option. Yeah, you gotta check it, man. Which five? We haven't checked this. One. There must be something in W, right? I know W. What? What? The entire W. What? It's missing. Was it taken. Oh, uh, probably been Mr. Red White, right? Red White can have been the one to do it. To steal all of it. Let's go. Let's go ask Mr. Martin Grossberg. Maybe he knows. I found this in Mia's files, so she was investigating Red White, as I expected. Well, if you wanted to challenge him, you could present this in the court. Not a bad idea. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Something to talk, maybe? No, okay. Hmm. Take detention center again. Apparently, Miss May is in question. I doubt I'll let him talk to her today. But, where's Maya? Um, get what I'll show. Hmm, the little boy seems to be out. Huh? The sound of water coming from the shower. La dee da, money making, money making. I got the money making business. I got the money making blues. 
Someone seems to enjoy watching the shows. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. Some bits. A simple bed. It's been recently made. Nothing eye catching here, okay. And that's weather again today. I can see the faint cool laughs is from it, of course. Please. A bottle and two glasses rest on the table. I better not touch it. No telling what the bubble would do to me. Well, this. Still good? Scrutifer is still stuck in the drawer. I better not touch it. No telling what it would. What the, the bell what would do to me. Okay, okay. There's nothing here then. It's a blue call. Something here. Well, aren't you persistent? Sorry, but there's something I have to ask you. Mr. Lawyer, I really hate having to repeat myself. But it seems the message has not yet penetrated your thick skull. Stop bothering me. If you try my patience further, I fear a nasty accident may occur. Do I make myself clear? Transparent. Ah, uh, no, not yet, not yet. Stop, stop. Black man, yeah. There's no one asking some of this crooked trick question. I need some evidence I can use as a hand. What's wrong? You simply stuck to my face? Why, well, yes, there's my eyes and my nose and my mouth. But of course, I jest. You need not restrain your mirth, my friend. It is okay to indulge in my cosmopolitan sense of humor. I will not think less of you. What about this? This is a following the wool over people's eyes. I've got to play my spot quick. Stop that! Your hot gaze is giving me goosebumps. What about Miss May, huh? What about Miss May? I think we're past needing to talk about you, mate. I've got to put this guy on the spot, quick, hmm? What's the matter? You seem distressed. Nothing? Okay, okay. I should do this. This is the only clue that Mia left me. I'd better make this one count. Mr. White, see this? It's an article describing the suicide of a politician. It was investing secret, secret government files. Then one day, word got leaked to the press. The very next day, he took his own life. And this concerns me how? I found this article in Mia's office. Miss Mia. She had a file filled with articles like this. Every one of them was labeled with a single word. White. Mr. White, I know what you did this to. You did this to a politician. You blackmailed him. You were blackmailing him. Blackmail. Not just him either. You were threatening and coercing hundreds of others. You were involved in all of the suicide cases that Mia investigated. This company is built on blackmail. I'm right, aren't I? What a bizarre accusation. Mr. Wrong? What is it that you should be doing now, investigating? No, I think not. You should be searching for the one who killed Miss Mia. To Jay's office, hello? Mr. Wrong will be leaving now. Yes, sir, I'll send someone right away. Wait a second, Mr. White. You're wrong. You're wrong, Mr. White. Excuse me? What I should be doing now is going after you. Is what are you insinuating? Mia was on you. She was keeping tabs. For this reason, you had that for me tapping her phone. Then Mia was murdered, and all the documents about you mysteriously disappeared. So, the comfort would be... Even a child could work this out. Could work it out, Mr. White. You did it! So, Chad's office. We won't be needing an escort for Mr. Rahm. Instead, please connect me to the public prosecutor's office. Of course, sir. One moment, please. White? That you? What are you, what are you doing calling me at a time like this? Hello, Chief Prosecutor? 
I've changed my mind. I want to testify tomorrow. What's this about? Let me have three kicks. I witnessed the murder, you see. And thus, as a very important witness, I would like to testify. What? Why now? I thought you said you didn't want to go to court. Quite dude. I told you I changed my mind, didn't I? Oh, and one other thing. Send the police over here right away. The man is standing right in front of me. He looks dazed, but he could be violent. What? What man? Are you even listening? The executioner. The hatchet man. The liquidator. The killer man. What? But so why? This isn't another one of those. Chief prosecutor. I do not believe you are in a position to freely offer your opinions to me, correct? I'm telling you to send the police now. What? Did I not tell you, Mr. Rom? You are a mere lawyer. As was me, Miss Mia. How dare you? I'll point the finger at you and you will be tried as Miss Mia's killer. The case is as good as Cecil, no lawyer am. Ever have any word will defend you. I have friends in the local lawyers association, you see? You'll be given a law that's so stupendously enacted that they make even you look competent. I, I feel free. Detective Gumshoe, reporting, sir. Ah, Butts, Harry Butts. Right, it actually feels right, and my friend's name is Larry. Oh, right, so, pal. Uh, but was the murderer, right? Detective Gumshoe, I present to you the man who killed Miss Mia Fay. What? Take this despicable human being into custody. Farewell, Mr. Rom. What? I've been taken into custody. No, I didn't expect this. That Mr. Ward really is cruel. I can't believe it's only been a day since the first trial. My trial begins tomorrow. My trial, wow. I was going to set a trial for me. And the prosecution will be on it. Be in on it. Of course, Edgeworth included. An attorney was assigned to me by the state yesterday. I refused. I had an idea. Right. Mr. Wright. It's Maya. Oh, Maya. Great, they let you out of detention. Just now? Yes, it's all thanks to you. Ah, now I'm afraid we've switched places. What? You mean you? I explained what had happened to Maya. I don't believe it. How many people does that man need to destroy before he's satisfied? My mother, my sister, and now you. This has gone too far. Mr. Wright, please tell me, is there anything I can do? Um, well... Cheer me on in court, yeah. Well, you could cheer, cheer for me in court. Cheer for you? You mean, like a cheerleader? Huh? Um, yeah, like that. Alright, leave it to me. Huh? I'd better go get a uniform and some pom-poms. But oh, wait, 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 wait. What, what, what? I'm kidding. It was a joke. No way. No, really, I was kidding. But thanks. It's good to know you're on my side. There really isn't anything you can do for me anyway. But I can't just sit here and do nothing. I've got to give that man a piece of my mind. Just a piece? Okay. Then, come to the court tomorrow. No, okay, I'll be there. I'll show them a thing or two. Is it finally? The trial? Yes, it's the beginning of a new century. Yet with crime, it's the same old story. In fact, it's gone worse. Lengthy court proceedings are no longer realistic. Beginning a few years ago, a limit of three days was put on initial court trials. Almost all finish in a day, most with a guilty verdict. I never thought I would end up in the defendant's chair myself. Tomorrow, the true culprit will appear as a witness. This is it. It's me or him. 
Sebeyi kim için diye. The trial time is come. 7-9-9-52 a.m. District Court Defendant in Lobby Number 1. It's only been 50 minutes recording, and I... Should it continue? Mm, now should I wait for the trial to start in the next episode? I don't know. Well, I guess this is it. Yeah. One way or another, this case gets decided today. Ah, oh, Phoenix! Look! Prosecutor, Edgewood. I received a call from the public prosecutor's office yesterday. He told me that whatever Mr. White says today, it will be the absolute truth. No matter how you try to attack his testimony, if I raise an objection, I have been on good faith that the judge will listen to me. What? Does what have the judge in his pocket too? So, you're saying I'm going to be guilty? End of story? I will do anything to get my buddy, Mr. White. Anything. But why? Why? How can you throw me in an innocent person like this? Innocent? How can we know that? The guilty will always lie to, being, to avoid being found out. There's no way to tell who is guilty and who is innocent. All that I can hope to do is, every, is to get every defendant declared guilty. So I make that my pass. Edward, you've changed. Hmm? Phoenix, you know him? Don't expect any special treatment, Phoenix, right? Phoenix? Well, court will be opening for session soon. What? But wait! The defense attorney isn't here yet. Isn't even here yet. He's not. I'll be defending myself. What? Okay, let's do this. Oh, it's time. It's time is 9. 10 a.m. District Court. Courtroom number 1. It's time for the trial. In the next episode, yeah, sorry you guys, I have to show in the episode. Let's prolong the episodes. It's just, you know, what I noticed. The watch time isn't looking too good. Like, you, you viewers don't watch till the end, so. I guess, you know, prolonging the episode is a good thing, but I'm still not satisfied. I want to play some more until the end. I usually finish one episode in one day, but I have to do an episode because I didn't, I didn't expect the time of recording would be this long. So, yes, that is it for this part of episode 2. Until the next episode. Farewell. It is me, it has been me, John Gretnamia. Goodbye.